Guys, it is game one between TNC Predator and Team Evos. Oh, weird animation. Oh, Shadow Realm. Uh, White Mon, you're under a tower of Leech Seed on the Gambit to actually chase him on the tower. You're still taking tower shots. One, two, three. Smash comes out. First blood onto a Logic from Ninja Boogie and Gabby. And now White Mon behind a tree. He's got two seconds and they don't have a sentry. Bottom way, we're going to go to Ninja Boogie again. He's pretty slow, but White Mon's even lower. He needs to go down, but now Logic comes back and he's going to get mistracked from the Spark Grave. It's a little bit awkward there. He flies at a high ground, but now Tiny's here to actually find him on the other side. He's going to get the avalanche and he's dead. Ninja Boogie getting crushed into the ground. So you do not want to use it. In fact, Necrophos does have only one point. At Wymon's going to go and Gabby. They need to slow down. They're going to get the Whirling Axis. But now Armel's coming in. The boat's going to come in too. Torrent lands perfectly and he's dead. Troll is crushed by a boat. We need to go mid because Tiny getting chased by two people. It's Kunka. It's Cuckoo. Moving pretty fast. X boat. Everything on the Tiny picks up a tree. Just a man fight. But the damage is there. Never was. He's tanking up. Still, Troll comes in. They toss Kunka onto Troll. He gets some, but the Z-Crab comes out. Avalanche does a little bit more damage, but they get another blast. But Tiny waiting for Kunka to come down. Then Bip starts on the backside. Going for Kunku. But Armel should go down here. More axes. Tossing the egg. Kunka's dead. He does have a wand. It should be enough after it. There you go. Winter's Curse maybe onto Necrophos, but everybody's coming in. Face hugger in the back lines. Another little Arctic Bone coming out. He's running out of mana now. He can't do anymore, but they're going to get the Shadow Realm going out. And the Avalanche. Toss onto Ninja Boogie. He's dead. And now Gabby's going to get caught. They do have the double Zephyr's double coming out. Kills Necrophos on the back lines. They're going to TP in Kunka. The boat will land. The Torrent's going to come in and actually just take down Face Hugger and just melt him apart. Even Tim's comes in for the fun and almost steals the kill. Moving on forward, gonna get slapped there. Found Dark Lord, gonna get cursed from well. Gonna hold in place, the root is not gonna be there, but they get the chance to double run around. The face hugger coming on in. They do get the magnetic field, another little avalanche, they need to toss in place. They toss the tree onto him, and Gabby almost going down. Wybon nearly gets a hit, but they do get him, and that's important. They get the dominating kill spree. But they will find a big man himself. Avil walking up, trying to get away. Smoke is broken. Cuckoo's going to be trying to slow him down, but the fish will hold him in place. And now Necrophos and the life drain blast. They get more damage again. The boat's going to be a little bit off, but the X will pull back in and just nails. Down Necrophos to the ground, 30 seconds away from him. And top lane actually going to keep on pushing, keep on fighting, trying to take out Ninja Boogie right at the start. Mid magnetic field does not save his life. Now Gabby's going to be fighting. Life on comes in and gets the overgrowth, trying to get out, but the X is going to pull him back in. And he should be dead. The torrent's going to land, but didn't have any vision. The Battle Fury. Kunk has a Shadow Blade though. Gonna actually get the Whirling Axis. The Shadow Blade isn't there, but Boat's gonna land on in. He needs to walk away, does get out, and now they need more. Double damage on the face. Okay, gets to blink the Avalanche. The smash, the toss onto Troll. More damage coming out, but the Shadow Blade's almost in. They've got a tree, and they break the pirate apart. But right now, Wild Mom's gonna be breaking the smoke on the high ground. Does see the Earth Shake. He's gonna get on out. Tim throws in, gets a dart on the Fisher. Onto Wild Mom, but maybe they can initiate. Tim's going a bit forward there. They have found everybody. Why? Wow, oh, the winter's curse. The boat's gonna be a little bit off. The sun does land a little bit, holds in place, but the Echo slides on the three and just melts everybody. Even Cuckoo's here draining away Abel, but they're just gonna surround their Pull pulling back in into the Enchant Totem, and that man is dead. Three people going down on Evos. Sons and Yasha might work, but however, they've found themselves in the blue, but the Winter's Curse is perfect. It has found themselves. Tiny with the Echo Slam onto them. The boat, everything, they've taken them out. Both go down to Armel. He's going fine, but actually, mid lane, they're actually going to go straight on to our friend Dark Will and take her out again. Dying constantly. Top lane, actually, here. Necrophos down back with the Spark Graves. Has to full stop away from them. And now Gabby just ready to go high ground. Doesn't even care. Gets the magnetic field in. He's going to hit the sound a few times. Gets the box on the Necrophos game back. And now Zemus Double's going to help him out too. They've got the Orchid. They've got more damage coming out from it. A fissure, everything. And now Necrophos gets popped. But here we go. The final initiation. Troll breaks the smoke. They blink away. They know what's happening. Troll gets fissured up. Money. We've got Winters goes in. Link. Armel on the back line. Troll jumps in onto the Tempest Double. But has popped the DKB instantly. Gets the Neverward. And now they're going to fight. They're going to get the boat on to Dark Lord. But now Tiny actually going to hit as well. Walks into the boat. And Gunka on the high ground. Might be trying to fight. They need to get some more damage coming out. And they should be able to melt him. Yep. He's gone. But the Echo Slam on the three. And the Fissure melts down Troll. Now Necro is by himself with Tiny. They're running forward. But the Magnetic Field gets damage away. Necro is dead. Tiny's getting melted away by Gabby. He gets living armor on him. Should save his life a little bit longer. But now Cuckoo going in. Does he get the Neverblast and in? But your base still going down to TNC. They've got a mission. And they're going to keep it going. Woo, Gabby just going straight to the mid. Doesn't even care. Doesn't even want to wait. What you got? You got White Bond. You got Dark Wheel. You got Tiny healing up right now. And Gabby just walks right on up. Doesn't even care about the Tempest Double. He's got Oh, his Minus Time is 13 seconds away. Can he actually even get a creep to get the Minus Timing? That's the big question here. Because we know they're going to get the Tier 3. But do we know if they're going to get the Minus Timing? 
I don't know. Gabby's Tempest Double with the Midas. Gonna get a fissure on the Tiny just as he blinks in. But there we go. They buy my control straight away. They're gonna toss up the Tempest Double in the air. But Wymon's gonna try and hold down. Sims, he's getting low. He's getting low with the axe. Slow him down. He more. The Gun Game's gonna run out. They get sent down. They've killed him. But they've also killed Troll. That's a dieback. <laughs> Armel is going GG. But I don't think it's for him to give up. I think it's for Evos to take a hint. Then they're gonna go straight to Dob. Takes more and gets a Mega Creeps. Right in 31 minutes. Even the bottle on the ground. Cuckoo having a good time. Base Hugger trying to go in. He might blow down Ninja Boogie in the back lines, but the Spark Grape onto Ninja Boogie just in case. He's holding the place where they go right on in. Troll's going to be trying to take down Ninja Boogie inside, but they get the Winter's Curse into the boat. It stuns down Tiny. The Spark Grape all the damage. Even the Crypt coming out from Kunkka. Melts down that Tiny. Tinker. Uh, Troll is still alive. One more going to get pulled back in. And Drake gets cut down, and now your base is called. It's only Arm oh, Alcoin GG, but eventually Evos will have to face Hugger. Gonna be trying to slump down Tim's gonna actually get Dark Willow again. Now, Dark Willow calls GG. Game one goes to TNC. Predator. Eating them alive, but right now the last big Husker comes out from TNC Predator. Right click's gonna come in. The arrow's gonna be aimed, but he just needs to dodge. Fisher into arrow first. Blood onto Zeus. Give it a cuckoo. He gets the Thunderbolt in, but the block comes out, and that's first blood on the Marana. That was, that's, man, that's a big mistake. <laughs> because in the top lane, there we go. Arrow on face avoid. That man's dead. Another star full secures that one, and now White Mob might get gone upon. It does have a good way, but the fish is going to stun him up and hold him out. He's moving pretty fast, though. Tim's might not be able to get away. Is moving down south, but Lena's going to come in. Another little dragon save gets him a little bit low. He, he does have a Laguna Blade. Use it. But Tim's gets a stun. Now Husker going to be jumping on Lena, trying to melt him down. The LSA does take out Tim's, but Face Hugger is going to go down to Husker. Oh, Mel. In fact, Husker in the mid lane. They're waiting. A logic with the Chronosphere. When to use it. Should get it. Jumps on in. Gets the Chrono. Right on the back lines with the Moonlight Shadow. The Chrono should give vision, but they need the Lightning Storm. The Sentry does go down. The magic damage not doing much, but Armel should pop. He's just surviving. The Fissure on the backside saves his life, but he does pop in the end. White Mon gets that. And now Ninja Boogie coming in. They're under the Sentry. They can see him. Tiny coming in too. They need to run away. Could be aimed, and that's the big man you want. Chronosphere needs to be big. They got the ultimate, the Chronosphere onto him. They blow him up, and they've taken out Terra by Gabby. Farmer Tim's coming around the backside, but Zeus might get caught out here. They can see the TP. Enchant Tone is going to be missed, but they get the Fissure on him in the backside. Never ward on the backside, and now Tiny getting caught. He tosses Husker onto Earthshaker, but White Mon gets eaten alive in a logic. He doesn't have Chrono yet. He's just going to jump upon by Husker, and Husker getting caught. He does get melted down, but Faces Void should die as well. He gets killed by the ward. Just melts that tower down, gone. And maybe even a tier two if you want, Oscar. Still ready to go at 16 minutes in. Oscar's just getting started, guys. Moonlight Shadow in the mid lane. They're gonna find White Mon, and he's getting ready to be dead again. There is a sentry. He does dodge the enchant but the Fisher can't be dodged into an arrow. He does walk away, but now the Chronosphere on the three. It's big. It's on the back lines. He's gonna be able to take out Pugno. The Sansa does fly back instantly. They get the Sans now. Tiny on the backside. Lena gonna blow up Tim's. And now they need more. They've got Cuckoo. The Yule Steps are gonna save a little bit longer, but now they're gonna get the last word, so he can't actually leap away. And now the Arcane Curse. He knows he's dead. And that's three kills going the other way for a buyback on the Sansa. So a tier two gonna be traded for the tier one in the mid lane. No, actually they're gonna actually fight this. On the backside, Tim's with the Echo Slave on the two, the Fissure. Just gonna be taking out Lena with the Neverblast. They've taken down two instantly. That's a logic and face hugger dead instantly in the mid lane. They will find somebody big. As Alina, they're gonna actually get the enchant zone perfectly timed. The Echo Slam, the Fissure, the Drain, and Lena's gone again. Face hugger. White Mon gonna keep going for the ward, gonna be careful. Husky jumps on, he does! Tries to eat Silence alive, but the Global Silence does come out. There, Tiny actually gets caught back. He can't actually get a guild, just gets in alive by the Terra Blade. But now they get the Chronosphere onto one. Husky will not even die. The double Fissure comes out from Sims in the back line. Nice enchant turn coming through. He does not have an Aqua Slam yet, but the buyback from Silence gets more alive. The Laguna Blade, the Dragon Slave gets one kill on Silent, but they buy back onto Tiny as well. Reflection out on him. Husky's still alive. He dodges the Avalanche. Nice little yield step. That's really awkward because that was actually Linus. Keep on going. Ninja Boogie's going to push. Oh, oh, Mel. That's the Invis rune. The surprise Invis rune under the sentry. They can literally see him, but he just gets the end of our He just goes right on up. Ready to take the town to get the LSA to land again, but they need more damage coming out. The BKB is being held, but now a tiny on the back line. Pokemon Pugna in the air, but Armel's still living. He's just going to melt Lena alive. Now tiny. Echo Slam. He's just going to be eaten alive too. No buyback on either of them. And your base is just going to get melted. Husker just going away. Cuckoo's not even hitting anybody yet, but... but Logic gets stunned up instantly. Enchant Totem. And now they're just going to eat him alive. Kuka on the back lines is just going to keep on fighting. The well play comes out from Ninja Boogie. Now Zeus just getting chased down. Gets eaten as well. And Silencer hiding in his base. 
can you even stop this TNC squad walking over every single SEA team right now? Armel, Ninja, Boogie. But Gabby, gonna find him, just blinks on, gets the sun instantly, now they're gonna find him. He jumps into the trees, we're trying to get out the Shadow Blade onto him, but they need a gem. They've got the sentry going down and Chan Totem as well, and they're just gonna eat him alive. GG, it's gold, they're thrown in the towel, and TNC take this game 2-0 against EVOS after taking the first series 2-0 against Tigers.